We're Dabs and Milo. We go by Dabs Milo. We're a collaborative married couple who paint together. We wanted to come to Sydney to paint a large-scale mural together because we've never painted anything in Sydney before. We met each other in art school. During the course of that, we fell in love. We made a decision that we're just going to combine both our names. We were living in Melbourne. It felt like we needed a bit of a change, so we moved to Los Angeles. We've been there for seven and a half years now. I don't have to think everything 100% through myself. <laughs> it's like we share a brain. It's very weird. It is weird, but it's the best. But it is the best. We've been together now for 11 years. I think the longest time that we've been apart is maybe like 11 hours, and that doesn't even happen that often. So the wall that we're painting for this mural is 60, 60 feet. feet tall. Pretty big. And the mural is kind of like a homage to an artist that we really admire, and the artist is Brett Whiteley. We started thinking of places to go, and then an actual idea came to us, not about a place as much as something much bigger than that and about inspiration. The studio was where Brett Whiteley lived and worked from 1988 until his death in 92. He began as a, an abstract painter, went on to figuration and moved through that. What's remarkable about the relationship between Brett and Wendy is that she was 15, he was 17 when they first met. That relationship continued closely together for over 27 years. Sadly, Whiteley lost his battle with addiction and Wendy has been an advocate and a supporter of his works ever since. Quite a remarkable legacy. Look at this one. I love it. This whole section in here has so much crazy cool shit in it. It's so funny to be looking at this up close after sitting there staring so at it. Weird. It's so weird. Like we have a book about Brett Whiteley's studio, but photos only show you so much. It's not the same as actually being in the place. And we're going to be able to pick up on something that we can transfer into the wall that we're going to paint. Look at this end. Like we can just put that on the yeah. wall. Like... Oh, it's a bottle of wine. It's crazy. Mm, such a sick title too. I know. When I came here, I saw there was a quote that said, adapt an idea. Don't leave until impossibility can't be seen. Really? And I'm pretty sure I went back to Melbourne and, and I painted a piece and I wrote it on it. Really? Yeah, uh-huh. Just seeing someone's work that was so expressive, he used so many found objects in his work. We don't make artwork and put found objects into it in any way. It was more the whole idea that, like, look at this painting, it's got uh, eyeballs and hair and all these crazy things in it. That just opens up your mind to possibilities of what you can do with your art. Whiteley himself said he was a bowel bird. If he admired another artist's work or technique, he would adopt it. And through some form of osmosis, it would become part of his own artistic practice. I think he would love the vitality of two young artists being inspired by him. I think he'd be humbled by that. No artist works in isolation and to respond and pay homage to another artist, I think, is respectful. Having Alec give us all this information that we didn't know about, especially about the painting Alchemy, really mind-blowing and super inspiring too, I think. We've forgotten about so many small details, and I think that Brett painted these things in his work to make the viewer really zoom up and really connect with the work. Inspiration, I think that a lot of the time it comes to you through life experiences. A big part of being an artist is living a life that everything that you're doing is completely immersed yeah. in being an artist. Every spare moment you have, you're drawing. Totally immerse yourself in what you're doing and work really, really hard. And when you do those two things, the inspiration and the style unfolds itself. Some people are just naturally really good, but that's more like a one in a million you can't wait and assume that maybe you're going to be that genius. You just work hard at it because that's generally what everyone has to do. When we really zoomed into his work, we've seen like a lot of parallels between his work and our work. 
He has a lot of references to pop art, comics. I think the relationship between Brett and Wendy, uh -huh. in a different way to how we work together, but still, they were the love of each other's lives and they, in a sense, created together. I think it would probably say something about maybe the shared inspiration that we have with Brett by the titles of the books that we chose to put into our mural. It's a pretty big wall and we have a small amount of time, so if it rained for a day, we would have been in a lot of trouble. We're lucky that there's no huge obstacles and so we're just getting through it. We'll be exhausted at the end of this, but it feels like a huge accomplishment when you get something like this done. Like, you put so much energy into it and you don't stop. We've squeezed six days of work into four days and we've been up on that lift for so many hours every day. It's, it looks fantastic, my love. Thank you so it. much. It's really cool. Um, I really appreciate it so much. I can see how many elements you've taken from the studio and, and transformed them into your own style, but it's extraordinary. The scale to work on. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's huge. <laughs> I guess painting these kind of murals, I kind of forget a lot of the time that people actually see it. Maybe it is self-indulgent, I don't know, but I think that coming from maybe doing graffiti in the mid-90s, no one else can read it, everyone hates it. <laughs> I think maybe part of that transfers over to this as well, and this is something that people can understand, and that's very cool, but all well, this is just a thing that I'm making. I don't have anyone in mind apart from him that I want to please. If anything, it's about us and Brett Whiteley. Even not even Brett Whiteley as a person, it's about us and his artwork and the inspiration that came from that. It's not even for Brett Whiteley, it's for us. We have an answering voice between us, and so maybe that's why we don't think too much about outsiders. I think it's gonna be quite surreal that we were able to accomplish painting this massive wall. Once we're finished here, we'll go back to Los Angeles and we'll think about what is next. As your career progresses, things that you wouldn't even think could be possible become possible and we need to push ourselves past the point that we thought was the biggest thing that we could do and then go beyond that.